I got big ears, yeah. That's you know, for sure. Think about big ears. <laughs> Fucking yeah, lot of ear wax. You gotta get big, big headphones. Yeah. Yeah. I had a little debate about that thing already. He talked about but, like, but, Jordan was better. Uh, and he sold more. I didn't, now I was thinking about exploring the the private Snapchat industry. If you're a guy trying to do an OnlyFans, you the best thing for you is to cater to the To be honest, I don't even know how girls like to be approached anymore. If they even like to be fucking approached anymore, but yeah. <laughs> uh, but Yeah. What's up? What's up guys? This is your boy Crispy. We got Ozzy G on the other side and Frankie J is in the place. What's up? What's up guys? How y'all doing today? Everything good in the hood like every day should be. You know what it is. You know what it ain't. Back of the thing, going through it again. She starting over every day with them vape. <laughs> Put a beat on that thing. That's you. Hey, you sound like more Ray. Um, how you doing, Frankie? How you doing, Frankie? Chilling, bro. Just hanging out, recovering, drinking some water, fluids, black mm. water, actually. Black water. That BLM. That's what's up. Uh, what? <laughs> That's stupid, dog. Oh, my God. <laughs> that BLM, uh, so, he says. So, <laughs> the freak. <laughs> we're sorry that, that, that we had to take a little break last week. I ended up having to do some activities, but we're back again. Uh, we actually have a nice special guest at the end of the episode, so make sure y'all stay tuned, but... Other than that, yo, we're going to get right into the show. You didn't check out any of the Post Mode album, Ozzy? Like, I didn't convince you at all? No. I heard the song with 21 Savage and 42 Doug. Wait, what? He has a song with 42 Savage? 21, 21, <laughs> 21 Savage and yeah. 42 Doug? <laughs> yeah. He got a song with both of them on, the, on his last album? No, no. They're featured on the same song. It's one song. I, I totally forgot he dropped an album. Yeah. I only heard that song, but it was on XM Radio today. That's why. I enjoyed Pop Smoke's, it. Pop Smoke's verse on that that song was not good. See, <laughs> really? Pop Smoke's verse. Yeah. It's just a verse. Oh, you're saying that? It's not an album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has yeah. one verse on every song. I hear what you're saying. It's not yeah. an album. It's just a people with fucking features. All right, maybe I'll check it out. It's just not that bad. It's, it's really not that bad. Uh, you, but you put it against uh, aim for the moon, shoot for the stars. I honestly, he would dead, bro. He would dead, honestly bro. think. I honestly think it was better. You think it was better than that one? That one was certified platinum. Well, I was telling Ozzy, look how many features he had on that shit, dog. It was literally every song was pop smoke for twelve bars, and that's it. All right, let, let, let's do talk about the features. Because uh, th- there was a tweet where the the brother said that he had nothing to do with the album. And the the manager, the manager was the one that basically formed all the features and everything. And all he cared was about hitting a, uh, getting a platinum record. So... You see, bro? It's all about the money, bro. Right, right, right. I mean, but isn't that his job? Who, Bob Smokes? No, the manager. Oh yeah. If it's That's okay with the thing. estate of the uh, the artist. But he didn't get approval from the brother or like his family or friends or anything about what Pop would really want. That don't matter. Don't matter. That's business. I thought it didn't yeah. matter. <laughs> he signed that dotted line, nigga. Yeah. That's that's what I think. Yeah. Just like with, that's what it is. Just was a uh, place. Nah, but, but nah, look at DMX album, nigga. People are tripping though. People are like, who nah. tripping? Who the fuck care? They're like, Posmo would have never like made an album with this or had features with this guy and this and that. So what? So what? His business his, is gonna sell. His, his and at the end of the day, his brother's pissed off. Hey, the get, the day, what? He gonna get what? Get what? Tell cry on a river. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's the way I think about it. But people was a business, bro. People are emotional. Can't put emotions in business. You heard that straightening song by the Migos? Ain't nothing but straightening, straightening. Dog, I still listen to stuff from back in like 2015. I still listen to a uh, Rick Ross Bitch Forever album. Nice. Yeah, that's what people that don't like fucking... music nowadays is listen to. Yeah. The music they only like. <laughs> I'm scared to listen to anything new, bro. Facts. I, I, everybody yeah, be like, I you heard that new song? I'm like, nah. 
I'm still listening to my old playlist. <laughs> no, but I never heard it. I never heard of Pop Smoke. You, you listen to that oh. that that new uh, Space Jam soundtrack? Nope. I never hear no music in the movie. It was in the background. There was they played that little baby song when they were playing basketball. <laughs> Wait, little baby and... like that. Yo. Who was it? Kurt Franklin? Have y'all did y'all see did y'all see Lil Baby and James Harden the way they were looking at Kanye when he pulled up <laughs> in Paris? Yeah. Bro. No. <laughs> Lil Baby. That yeah, shit was They're calling her little baby. Little baby? Yeah, little baby. Would you like little a baguette? Baby? Baguette little baby? <laughs> Where's it at, dog? Little baby? Who posted it, Chris? You know about it? I don't remember. Rap probably. Nah, a lot of people fucking posted about it. It's like they they had a, a fashion week over there in Paris. And... <clears throat> but it was that was that fashion, bro? Yeah. The the mad <laughs> I kind of fuck with uh, like like now getting older. I'm realizing I fuck with uh, Kanye's fashion game. Stop it! Like I would you wear. You can't that. be serious, dog. I would wear that that mask. Yeah, on the podcast. Yeah, you would. I wear that mask. Like, who's to say that's in like that? Uh, that's him. He it could be just anybody. Yeah, and I don't then, think like, it's Kanye. And then, like, it, it's genius because, like, you're not just going to go up to him and be like, are you Kanye? And then he'll just, like, not answer at all. And, like, you're just not going to, like, hit just a random person because you don't know that. I Kanye. would. No. It's like, why would you hit Kanye? <laughs> uh, LeBron. LeBron James. We got into it earlier. I know we got into it earlier. But I wanted to talk about Space Jam, dog. Space Jam came out over yeah. the weekend, dog. Yeah. It was the it was shit, good. bruh. It was all right. I, I, I had, man. I wouldn't have was... popped Zan if y'all told me y'all made some plans. Mm. But how, how did you enjoy it, Ozzy? I, I probably did. loved it. <laughs> you better have <laughs> movie of the year. Like this is the number one movie out here right now. Shitting on Black Widow. Damn, that was a good movie too. Black Widow was probably my favorite Marvel movie. I ain't even seen it. Hey, that shit was fire. What was it better? Was, uh, I mean, uh, what was better? This or Mortal acting. Kombat? Huh? This or Mortal Kombat? One's Mortal like Kombat, a kid bro. family movie. Yeah, then. I like Mortal Kombat. I'm a grown ass man, bro. That shit was fucking fire. <laughs> <laughs> the other one was a fucking kid if you movie. Talk, yeah, if you talk about like HBO releases, you know, I, I don't even know what the numbers are because they Uh-oh. both came out on HBO Max. Like, oh, cr- cr- crunching the numbers real quick, Frankie. But, me but, and Nick had a little debate about that thing already. He talked about but, Michael but, Jordan was better and uh, he sold more. I didn't even say that. I said the people <laughs> said that. Um, he was mad as hell when he found out the truth. Wow, died. I hate LeBron James. <laughs> So the first Space Jam ended up doing 27.5 mil in 2,600 theaters. And how many wow. days? That was the first day? Uh, it debuted. Yeah, that's it debuting. Yeah, the first day. And then the second one, 31.6 mil. But in almost double the amount of of theaters uh, 31 versus 27 so it did like 5 mil more than than the first one that's 5 that's 5 million dollars five, 5 mil is I mean it's more but it's also more theaters so it's more opportunity for them to broadcast it no I mean I'm being real I, I'm being I'm not saying one was better than the other I'm just being like level headed like I'm not choosing one, one, had a, one had a better budget too, so way better budget. That's why it's, that's why it's better. Better animations, bro. Better everything. That's why I said though, they did the they did their shit right. They made it like a video game. Do you think this was better than Coming to America too? I think so. Coming to America too was terrible. Mm. With good actors, you know what I'm saying. Mm. This had 
bad actors. Mm-hmm. No actor. They had my dog Glenn from Walking Dead, bro. bro? I didn't even see him. He was in the in the office when they were presenting the game to him. He was the Asian do- dude. I didn't even look at him. <laughs> and, the, and the girl, his wife was from uh, Walking Dead, too. The only person I seen was LeBron, his son, and that, uh, his little assistant. Oh, the, yeah, the wife was from Walking Dead. Uh, Sasha. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I did see that bit. Yeah. <laughs> but she's a I, bad I, actor, too. I swear she was, like, I have her as a as a client, for real, for real. Um, but, <laughs> Ozzy, I mean, uh, Frankie, did you see that? Did you see it? The movie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I watched it. You enjoyed it? I just told you a scene from the movie and the actor. <laughs> but, but did you did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was good. I mean, it was LeBron sucks at acting, but yeah, I mean, if you can get past LeBron, like you you ex, you know what you're expecting. You know, the acting's not going to be great, but I think LeBron took it basketball player. I think LeBron took it too serious. I think he took it too serious. <laughs> he takes everything so serious. He's just not an actor, bro. <clears throat> yeah, he's about to make his first. Movie. <laughs> Michael Jordan in the first one Michael Jordan's acting was terrible too because they're not fucking actors yeah, they're basketball yeah. players dog With yeah dreams. the first one just seemed like a long ass commercial like a long ass Pizza Hut commercial and it was just about him this one's more about the kids and follow your dreams and you know what I'm saying that shit's fire if I could say one that thing message. about the movie if I could say one thing about the movie I'd rather only watch the first intro to the movie how they intro LeBron and they talked about his legacy and they did all the like animations in the beginning. Like the, if you, I could just watch the first twenty minutes and then I'm, I'm good with the movie. I don't really care. Oh, just the montage of LeBron James. Did you watch the movie? You know how they did the montage in the beginning? Yeah. When they showed you how he played for the Cavs and he played for the Lakers. Oh yeah, that shows fire. That shows fire. Yeah, that was, I was like, that was the only part that I liked about the whole movie. That show was super fire. <laughs> Other than the that, goal. it kept me entertained. Yeah, that, that's goal. what's up. I think that's what matters at the end of the day. I think they they sold it a lot, almost like Ready Player One, where they brought a lot of like you know stuff that you know, like. That what I told characters. Chris, that what I told Chris, man, the, the kids see all the all the cartoon characters, mm-hmm. the Fortnite vibes and all that shit. Yeah, that's it's what grabbed their attention. Mm-hmm. That that's what I was telling Ozzy that like I, I didn't feel. That's what I told you. No, no, yeah, you're telling, telling me, but I was telling you that I didn't feel comfortable. <laughs> as a business perspective that they didn't promote uh like Bugs Bunny and shit like that to the youth and they're just kind of pushing them on there randomly and then that's when he told me about uh the Fortnite uh skins and it's on 2K and yeah 2K got like shorts of like all the Looney Tunes characters like separate they got right. Speedy Gonzalez they got one with Bugs Bunny on it yeah. one with Lola like one with the grandma Tweety, so they have all the fucking thing. What is all this nigga looking around over there, boy? What the hell wrong with your boy? What's going on with your boy? What's going on over there, boy? Lola? I don't know. You know, Lola Bunny? Lola oh. Bunny? I got it. Oh. Hey, I heard Lola. Or I didn't hear. I mean, I heard. I seen it on some. Somebody tweeted said Lola what body wasn't as fire as it was like the last movie. She got desexualized. <laughs> yeah, she did. Pretty soft ass kids these days. And so did Pepe Le Pew. He's not on there, right? Pepe Le Pew's not, not on there, bro. Hmm. I mean, it's, it, it is what it is. They had Speedy like, Gonzalez, though. They had Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, really? My dog, my dog. And he was, like, talking throughout the movie, too. That shit was fire. It was a couple times yeah. he was talking. I was like, hey, that was you Gabriel Iglesias. For oh, real? Really? Like, Fluffy. Yeah, that was Fluffy. They were supposed to get rid of that character, weren't they? Speedy Gonzalez? Yeah. That's weird. I don't know. Uh, and then did you know that Lola was played by Zendaya? Was that Zendaya? Zendaya, Zendaya, the, that? the girl that's in the Spider-Man movies that plays Mary Jane. I never watched Zendaya, that. bro. How you not know who the fuck Zendaya is? Nope. Look at look at the. Uh, Ozzy, do you know? He has to know who knows. Zendaya is. Ozzy knows. Oh yeah, he knows. Nah, yeah, I don't know Zendaya. Where is she That's from? not a good picture. She don't look as <laughs> she, she, she looks different. I, in I don't know where she's from. I Bro, there's seen... not a chance. There's not a chance you don't know where she's from. What do you mean? I don't watch. I don't watch movies. She was on Spider Man, The Greatest Snowman, Malcolm and Marie. The Greatest Showman, not Snowman. <laughs> <laughs> 
the great the greatest snowman. The greatest snowman. I don't know any of these movies that she was in. So fucking good. Fucking hilarious. What do you be watching? Nothing. But you say you don't like superhero movies, right? Yeah. Black ish. I yeah, Black-ish. yeah. She was the on Airbud. Snowman. She was Probably on Airbud. Kid. Oh, damn. Girl. That's crazy. Damn, bro. She's like a pretty famous actress. <coughs> oh, yeah. Damn, yo, this fucking headphone. I, man, y'all ever wear these headphones for so long, your ears fucking hurt? Yeah. Man. Put them over your ears. Or you need, you probably need bigger headphones to cover your ear. Oh, yeah. Dude, I, yeah, yeah I, I got some big ass ears. I got big ears, yeah. That's you know what sure. about big ears. <laughs> fucking yeah, a lot of ear wax. Now you got to get big, big headphones. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yo, uh, you know what they say about. Getting a date in the Dodger Stadium, right? <laughs> what did what did it say, Bo? What did it say, Bo? You're gonna get caught. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, you will. <laughs> it's, it's closed, and when there's just random people in there, you want to figure out what's going on with security and shit. What the fuck, man? Yeah, Drake. Uh, what the fuck, what it's Drake ended up Albert getting tactic. caught by by some drone or something. Uh, it, he had a private date with uh a young fella's mom, a young basketball player's mom. Drake ended up meeting her at LeBron's uh, coaching thing, at LeBron's coaching game. and Was it his coaching game or was it Bronny's game? And he was just there. Doesn't LeBron coach for, for Bronny? No. no. What, he's what, just what, a dad, bro. Oh, so he's just attending yeah, the game. Yeah, Sierra Canyon, right? Yeah, he's huh? just attending the game. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, because the uh, number one draft pick is gonna it was there, I think. Yeah. Mari Bailey, I think is his name. Uh, okay, so... That's his mom. LeBron, yeah, LeBron's son's in there, and Drake was supporting LeBron's son. Same thing with Michael B. Jordan. Ended up finding that chick. Chick looks fine as can be. And, uh, yeah, now they have a date in the Dodger Stadium. I, I told I told Ozzy, why the fuck they can't make this in the Clipper Stadium? And he says, what if they already have? No, nah, I did not say that. Oh, I said, "What if?" I said, "What if Drake already done that with somebody else?" Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. You know Which I mean, yeah, absolutely. A lot Damn, of what if her favorite team, the Dodgers? You know what I'm saying? Like, what if it's always been a dream of hers to eat at Dodger Stadium, or maybe she's done that with some other nigga before? Who the fuck knows? True. What if she's like, "Hey, I got the, the spot we can go to, just so they yeah. can get caught." Now she got caught. I was I was fucking the chef and he has good food. Oh, you talking about her? I, I, was, know. Like, what? I know. I was like, why would Drake say that? <laughs> hey, twenty twenty one. You know, nigga might be gay. Nah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the chef could be a woman too. Yeah. Chef can be a woman. I got a woman chef. My chef's a woman. My chef acted like a woman. Fuck you. Shout out to our chef. Don't talk about him like that. <laughs> Alex was the chef at my job. <laughs> if, if y'all become successful, would y'all get y'all personal chef? Fuck no. I'd take up cooking. <laughs> I'd learn to cook a lot of shit, honestly. I'd cook, bro. What the fuck? you are cook yeah. the rest of your life? Why the fuck not? That's what I do yeah, anyway. I, <coughs> do you find it fun? Chris? Me? Cooking? Yeah. yeah. No? Do you hate it? Is it a task? It's a task. It's a time That's why you would be the me. chef. Yeah. You, get, you gotta learn to like it. A well, time killer to fucking to survive, bro? <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? You gotta feed yourself, bro. I know oh, how to damn. feed myself, but if I was in the future. <laughs> yeah, but what what happens when McDonald's somebody real quick, bro? You get, get that like holographic shit and eat it. <laughs> Home. Nah, uh, I feel eventually. I, like I know how, I, I I like how to I like how to cook certain certain shit. Do you? But, are you saying you don't know how to cook? That's why you don't like to cook. No, I. I if you don't know how to cook. Just it's say time that. Time consuming. It is time consuming for me. And if you don't know how to cook, just say that. Because you can cook like this, bro. You can cook stuff real fast. You're probably associating it with like cooking when you're hungry. It kind of sucks when you're cooking when you're hungry because you're just like, "Fuck, I want to eat it." So, so fast like, already. so like with with chicken, I gotta 
I'm taking, I gotta take it out the wrapper. I gotta get vinegar. Gotta get some lime. I gotta like wash the chicken really good. That's what does that do for you though? It takes time. But what does that do? It cleans the what chicken. What is what? What is what? It cleans the chicken. And then what do you do with when you clean the chicken inside the sink? Yeah. Right. You so you, you put in the water. The sink. So you gotta... okay. Check it out. So when you put the water on the chicken, when you're cleaning the chicken, uh-huh. you know water splatters, right? So you're actually spreading more bacteria than right. what you what you're trying to clean up. Uh, the chicken already comes clean, so you're actually just you're taking a step because you want to take a step. It, it you, all that slime is clean. Yeah, it's blood. Okay, well, I mean, I I rather not have it. That's, that's y'all. Y'all can have it slimy and everything, but no, I'm saying you're putting more bacteria in your chicken anyway. No, you clean how, it. how clean, you clean, how it clean is your tap water? How clean is your tap water? That that is another thing. I rather well, I rather trust. You pour a water bottle on top of it. I rather, <laughs> I, I rather trust that that would get rid of the bacteria a lot quicker than all the slime and and getting veins and shit that it has on there. That all well, the preservatives are going to be cleaning the chicken, like cutting the chicken and washing the chicken is totally, totally different. So I can, you can cut off the veins, you can mm. cut off the spine, you can cut off the excess fat on the chicken. That's cleaning the chicken. If you're right. washing chicken, it literally makes no difference because you have bacteria everywhere, bro. <laughs> so you're literally just taking. But no, I'm, I'm trying to help you. Out. No, no, no. I, I know it's time consuming. It's time consuming because you're taking an extra step. It, it is. <laughs> Very time consuming, so I'd rather just hire somebody. If you if you if you're out there cutting a fuck, if you go cut a chicken open, nigga, and you take their breast out, all right, fine, wash the blood off, clean it the fuck up. But if you're buying it from a store, it's clean, my nigga. I don't trust it. (laughs) You don't trust. You don't trust what? I don't trust the slime and shit. All the preservatives that that they use to you're eating it anyway. No, but you could clean it off. The same thing with like a fruit. Like if you if you take a, a an apple from the fruit aisle and and boil it, you're gonna see all like a wax come off of the of the fruit, and that's all the preservatives that they spray it with, so it could last longer. And I'm not saying I'm a hundred percent right. So so you boil your apples before you eat them? No. I clean it really well, but with what? <laughs> the water. <laughs> with what water? The tap oh, water? Oh my gosh! Yeah. Or purified with, water. With tap water. Oh my gosh! So cold or hot? I I mean cold. I don't want to ruin the apple, so I I do it cold. You do it cold, probably right? Because that right. makes more sense, right? So you, aren't you actually just coating the fucking apple in tap water? You're taking the you preservatives really out of it. The preservatives that are inside of the apple already because no, that stuff is on is on the skin, is on the skin of the apple. No, so because the skin's I, I, there, I'll send you a video. I send you a video. But, but no, I'm saying, but if the skin's there, that means nothing can get inside of there, right? You're eating so the skin. Every, everything that they spray, but you don't think it goes inside of the apple or inside the core? I mean, it's better than doing nothing at all and just eating the whole thing. Is it? Because you're yeah. eating the whole thing anyway. No, you, I'm you know cleaning it. Apples? I'm cleaning it. The, the, I mean, I, I get, I get what you're saying. It's never going to be completely clean, but that's like saying you I'm, clean I'm, it with I'm, dirty tap water from Lehigh Acres, Florida. Right. <clears throat> so it's either I take the chance of tap water or I take the chance for preservatives. I'll, I'll wipe off the, the tap water and, and take that chance. Throw it in the dishwasher. Fuck it. <laughs> I, I get what you mean. I get you're what eating, you mean. You're I'm eating just... double. You're eating double shit because <laughs> the preservatives are in the apple, and you're adding more minerals and debris to your apple from putting the water on it. But who's to say they didn't water it already? Ooh. Ooh. Now who's to say they didn't water it while, while it was in the store? And maybe they did. What if they're throwing? What if it's not water? What if it's preservatives? I, I don't know. Nobody knows. It, it is an interesting conversation. Because, I mean, no, maybe I am, like, wasting time for no reason. And <laughs> Definitely. Over, most definitely. I'm an overthinker. 
I mean, yeah. we, we, we say this almost every every episode. Think I it over, think, bro. You know? Think it over. I'm just really <laughs> fucking blazed. Get over so. it. Uh, I'll keep going. No, no, no. Let's not. Let's uh. Let, let's talk about Jake Paul versus Tyrone Woodley. I, I don't even know who brought this into the conversation, but. I think it was me. Oh. Jake looked like a scared kid in front of the man. Yeah, there was a <laughs> no, there was a, a video that showed uh, Jake Paul and Tyrone Woodley doing like a media day where they're taking pictures for like promos, mm-hmm. and uh, they're like standing in front of each other with like they're just wearing like their fight shorts, and uh, not at one point when they were they were face to face they were like this close to each other, and then not one point did Jake Paul ever make eye contact with Tyrone Woodley while Tyrone Woodley was staring at him. So to me, it was like he would just like even people said like he looks scared, like he looks like he thinks that he bit off more than he can chew. And that was like because that was somebody recording like on their phone from right here. So this this isn't in front of his camera, in front of his blogs or anything. This is him acting like how he would in, in the fight. So hopefully he don't come off like a scared little kid when he fights, though. Is this the first time where he had a, a standoff? No, nah, I think they had a media day before, but this, like I said, this is for like promos and stuff, just for pictures. I mean, besides this fight, he had one with um with Ben Askren. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, he did have one, and then mm-hmm. oh yeah, because I was thinking like sometimes people have like anxiety, like social anxiety, and they they don't look at the person in the eye. I, I had a boss at one time. He used to talk to us and like look at us at her chest whenever he was talking. And I felt like that was an excuse so he could look at girls' chest. Usually, <laughs> well, usually when they say you don't want to look at somebody, look at their forehead if you don't want to make direct eye contact, like look like right here. So you're not staring at their eyes, but you're looking at them. Then they're going to be like, are you looking at my forehead? <laughs> no. Yeah, you're not looking at him. You're not looking at him, you're not looking at him, you're not looking at him. Why you not looking at him? Look, he's he's worried about him. You see Tyrone Woodley done his neck rolls, fucking still staring uh, at him. I just don't think he worried about him, bro. I think he worried about him, but you know how Jake Paul do. All right, forgive me for being uh, clueless, but who is Tyrone Woodley? UFC fighter, bro. But yeah. like, what, what, what is he infamous for? Is he? He's uh, had the belt. Like he before, knocks right? people out. He, is he heavyweight? Yeah, yeah. He's not a crazy striker on his feet, but he's a good. He's a he's a fighter though. He's a good fighter. Like he takes people to the ground. Does he ever take people to the ground? Yeah. He hasn't what? fought in so long for me, at least, like for me to pay attention. Gotcha. Because, like, obviously, like you just said, you didn't really know who he was, anyways. What? What? Uh, when's this fight? Do y'all know? That's coming up, I think, isn't it? Uh, August 29th is the Tyrone. Oh, shit. <laughs> Next month. Oh, August 29th. Wow. Yeah. All right. Uh, but, yeah. Right. He's infamous that uh, Tyrone Woodley infamous right now for being released from the UFC right now. He just got kicked out. Or Dana White cut him from the uh, UFC. Yeah, yeah, he's lost his last, like, two or three fights. Yeah. Oh, Wow. He's an infamous loser. Looking for that the, money. There's the he big three. Money. He just ain't got the, the MMA in it no more. He ain't got the groundwork. Colby Covington. You see what Colby Covington said about him? No. He said, I think Tyron Woodley's going to take a fall. He said, I, I think he's going to take a fall because he needs that money. Yeah, he needs the money. So he so needs that money, money so he'll probably take a fall. Jake Paul, a money fight. I'm, Basically mm-hmm. a charity. Bucks That's wild. Room. That's wild. His uh, gonna fight Floyd again. <laughs> uh, Suns and Bucks. Who y'all got going? Shit, the Bucks just won last night. Yeah. Three two. Three, three two. The, the series is three to two. Whoa. And they're going to Milwaukee tomorrow. Oh shit. Tomorrow. Or Tuesday, I think. Tuesday, Tuesday. So Bucks are getting it. I think the Bucks gonna take it, bro. Wow. If they're at home, I think so, man. Bucks and six. All right. And then for uh, investment of the week, we got a little special guest going on. Uh, I guess actually we're going to get right into it. In irrational therapy, 
We like to discuss some music, uh, some movies, sports, finances, and our special guest today is a special boss, a true go-getter, uh, some would say a straight hustler. Now, I was thinking about exploring the, the private Snapchat industry, and I ended up coming across some, some competition, yo. Uh, today, we have the honor in diving inside the private Snapchat realm, and I want to welcome to the show Sha Shawnee Honey. Shawnee Honey? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How you doing today, yo? Thank Good. you. Good. Thank you. Thank you for being on the show, yo. Of course. <laughs> um, so first and foremost, now my biggest question that I have now, what do you have like an OnlyFans as well? Yeah, I, I do mostly OnlyFans. Uh like the Snapchat thing, that's like I use that for like extra money, like spending money. Um, but uh, I did start with the premium Snapchat before I started OnlyFans. So that is that was what I started with. But now I use OnlyFans more. So OnlyFans, you get like most of the revenue, or like do you see more money on OnlyFans? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Do you still use Snapchat though? I still use Snapchat only because like, even after I started like making a lot of progress and a lot of money on OnlyFans, people were still asking about Snapchat. So I was like, well, why not do both? You know, if I can, yeah, so yeah. yeah. Almost like a promo to your OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we, we tried doing OnlyFans, but it, it didn't work out too much. Yeah, it, that last It takes too much. And then like, it was only so much like we could do. We had some females, like, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, for for guys, you're like, if you're a guy trying to do an OnlyFans, you, the best thing for you is to cater to the like homosexual. Like that's that's where you're gonna get money. Hey, that's because, real. Yeah. Yeah. No one, no one wants to see like, you know. Yeah. Regu so regular yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. so uh, so in, unless you're into like you know the guys wanting you to do requests and stuff like that you probably won't make absolutely. a lot of money but there's a huge market for like boys that do only fans for men though like if you're you. interested in that yeah. yeah i got you i got you now yeah. i mean I if kevin spacey knows about them <laughs> <laughs> um now what would be like, like, I, I know there's a lot of people that have jobs, they don't like their job or whatnot, but what would be one uh, annoying thing that you, you constantly deal with on, on like either OnlyFans or Snapchat? Like on it, like while I'm doing it or in general, like yeah, just life. in general that, yeah. Um, I think the most annoying thing is that once people find out that I do sex work, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but- um, Right, right, right. Like one, Some yeah, once filming, people- whatever, yeah. Yeah, once people find out that that's like my occupation, uh -huh. they think that that's all I'm there for, whether it be them trying to like hook up with me or oh, they I think gotcha. that I'm, I'm trying to promo or something, which is not the case. Like when I'm not doing my thing, like I'm You're just a normal human. person. Yeah. Yeah. But everyone you. assumes that like, I, that's like what I'm here for. Like I'm just a sexual being. So that's definitely the most annoying. Yeah. Yo, I would hate it if, if females just constantly, man, even if guys like, like I deal with it where like guys flirt with me and like I I, I know where, where girls are coming from whenever we do it to, to girls. So like I just approach things a lot different. To be honest, I don't even know how girls like to be approached anymore, if they even like to be fucking approached anymore. But yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Yeah. Our main thing is yeah, that uh that 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 is interesting that you just have to deal with that. But I'm sure like uh, this isn't going to be like a forever thing. Like, uh, like, are you using this to provide like for goals in the future or something? Like, are you going to school or anything? 
Um, I was when I started. Uh, I dropped out of high school, so I don't have like a GED. So when I started, um, I mean, I've been doing sex work for like over 10 years now, but when I started, yeah, when I started it, like it was, yeah, it was like a, a fallback, like a cushion for everything. I was doing it while I was, you know, I was a preschool teacher for five years and I did that on the side as well. And then, um, then the director of my preschool found out and was like, basically gave me an ultimatum and like, I make more money doing this right and i have more time so i i chose this but living your best i don't life. really know um yeah i don't really know like what i want to do in the future as of now but i i do think that this will probably be my thing for at least until i'm like late 30s for sure okay no i hear you i hear you yeah damn and then by that time you're gonna be on like virtual reality shits and everything <laughs> it'll be another world no. by that time Hope, hopefully by that time i'll be somebody's trophy wife or something <laughs> there we go there we go yeah. that's the goal <laughs> yeah now now being a trophy wife like it just transitions into this one question that like do you feel comfortable right now seeing yourself in like a normal relationship they like is that possible for you right now or it's totally possible um yeah I think that it's possible the ways that it's hard is not the ways that people think that it's hard because a lot of people think that like you know guys don't want a girl that like is being seen online by everyone but that's not really the case right right yeah no that's not the case It's, it's more of like I need someone who's down to make content with me and you know do all that and some guys aren't comfortable with that and it's just it's just how they are and I feel like I yeah like I've been more I'm more attracted to like the shy nerdy type that Mm -hmm. isn't down for stuff like that so for me it is it is hard yeah it is hard to find someone like that but I think it's very easy to have a monogamous relationship with someone and still be a sex worker and do OnlyFans and stuff like that. I got you. I got you. So, so like getting your type is just a little difficult, but totally doable. Yeah. For anyone else, I think it'd be very easy because there's a lot of guys that are, you know, it's, it's just this modern day. Like that's not how things are now. Like a lot of girls are like that. So a lot of guys are into it. Some guys even like it. You know, I've had a lot of guys that are like, I would love to be with a girl that like, you know, does what you do. But Fuck yeah. I don't know. It's, a, it's all preferences. All yeah. What's, what's up, Frankie? I think so. I said some of the guys are, are, are all talk when it comes to that. I feel like. I, I wouldn't say all guys. Think- There's a lot of guys that would do it. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think a lot of guys do. Yeah. It, it just depends on who like who you chill with because i mean there, there's just i don't know like there's it's certain the people thing, that dude. that go to sex uh sex clubs there's some people that uh just go to church certain people that just focus on sports yeah it's just it's there's, just preferences there's there's like a lot of cucks out there that like love it you know like there's a lot of guys that just like showing off what they have or whatever i don't know yeah 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 but uh, yeah but i Personally, I've never had a guy tell me that they couldn't be with me because of what I do. So I, I got you. No, that's real. Uh, Frankie, hey, you got anything else to, to ask? Yeah, is that what is that a tattoo on your arm, your right arm that's going down the red? This? Yeah. Yes. What is what? it? It's a it's the armband from Pocahontas. Oh, that's oh, really cool. <laughs> I thought yeah. it was actually an armband. That's what I was asking if it was a tattoo or not. <laughs> yeah, it's a tattoo. Really cool. that's Thank awesome. you. Um, dang, you said you did it for, you've been doing this for about 10 years? Yeah. So you um, haven't had a, like, a, have you had a relationship within those 10 years? Yeah, like, I've taken small breaks in between. I've had two kids, um, just stuff like that definitely have taken breaks from it but overall like because sex work can be a lot of things you know it's not just only fans and private snap like it's sugar daddies and it's right. you know some people are full service sex workers stuff like that so 
I was doing the sugar daddy thing whenever I was like 16. So I've mm-hmm. been doing it for like a really, really long time. And then I did the like private snap, the premium or whatever. Um, whenever I was like 21, I want to say. And then the OnlyFans whenever I was like 23. And I'm 27 now. So. Mm. So when you meet people, do you usually go by your full name, like right off back, or do you have like a, a name that, that everybody calls you? Uh, I use a lot of people, a lot of my subs know my real name because they know who I am, but mm-hmm. for like advertisement purposes and promotions, I use Shauna instead Shana. of my name. Yeah. Shauna. And like, whenever you search that up, is that easier to find you or? Yeah, if you're searching like my OnlyFans and stuff like that, that all of it is Shauna. All right. Yeah. And Frankie, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for being on the show. Yeah, I really appreciate it. And I would, I would like you back anytime you want to, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, thank you, thank you. And- all right, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I really hope y'all enjoyed everything. Uh, well, you got something else, Frankie? There was a, a Mexican cartel leader busted out of jail. You seen that? I seen that in like less than 24 chipotle. hours. He ex- nah, it was a young looking dude, and it says jail uh, busted out of jail by 30 armed men and escaped in an ambulance. <laughs> Chris Tyre, look, Chris Tyre, boy, go oh, night man. night, dig, go night night, dig. <laughs> hey, Chris, last thing. Hey, this uh, <clears throat> the Shawnee girl. Mm-hmm. On her story, her IG story, she has a, a post that says, I made, a, I made a new friend. And then it's a woman that says, real or imaginary? And then the one says, it's a stranger on social media who likes the same band as I do. And that was yesterday. I think she's talking about you. Oh, yeah. Well, shout out to Shawnee, yo. <laughs> uh, I, hey, I really appreciate having uh, having you on, Shawnee. Uh, anytime you want to come back on, let us know. Uh, and... We got you. Uh, but I'll probably be there, that, maybe. Maybe, probably yeah, not. Yeah. <laughs> we got, we, we still got a bunch of questions. We, we don't want to like throw it all at you at once, but uh, you got anything else to tell the people? Wash your hands and wash your ass. <laughs> hey, you know it. You know it. Frankie, you got anything left to say? I got nothing to say. I lie, you guy. Yeah, I love uh, you, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we're a little awkward during the interview. It's all Frankie's fault. So, uh, hey, hey, we we didn't absolutely do that simp- we didn't do that simp of the week or whatever. Oh yeah, the simp of the week, and but, well, we uh, didn't really talk about it. Yeah. Anyways, we, we got you next week. We're we're just trying to uh, simp- figure something simp out. Simp of the week, Chris. <laughs> Chris. Me. A lot. You know what? It's me. You're right. <laughs> simp of the week. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I guess we're going to catch y'all later. I want to thank each and every one of y'all for listening. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share to to your friends. Share the, uh, the podcast as much as possible. We appreciate each and every one of y'all. We'll catch y'all next week. Peace to the Middle East. Let it rain in Spain. We out. <laughs> hey, hey.